Hello, my name is Lucas. This is a bit of lit, and I'm here to talk to you today about Legends, Star Wars, The Old Republic, Revan, written by Drew Karpishin. Sorry if I said his name wrong. I'm not totally sure how to say it. Um, it's a very average book. It has some very good qualities um, that show uh, quite a bit of skill from the author, and then some other stuff that is just mind-boggling and doesn't make any sense why you would do that. You're sort of tarnishing Revan for me. Come on. <laughs> um, the Good, uh, very well paced, um, very exciting up until part two starts, and then it really falls apart for me personally. Um, this is split into two parts um, that are separated by four years. Um, the characters that are not Revan do feel like, Candrus does feel like himself, although there is this element of um, sort of sitcom humor with the characters and the way that they speak sometimes. I think for the most part, the dialogue is very good, uh, but sometimes when there's supposed to be something kind of funny, um, it just doesn't land for me. Uh, and then, yeah, maybe sometimes at the end of chapters, it's kind of like, meant to be a little more dramatic but it falls short of the 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 way it's presented sort of falls short of what you might expect it should be uh that's another little nitpick um my main issue with this this story is at the beginning part one uh is split into two narratives uh one following scourge who's uh with the emperor and sort of checking in on these <laughs> <laughs> Sith and doing all kinds of side quests, basically, uh, because this is a tie-in to Knights of the Old Republic 1 and Knights of the Old Republic 2, uh, two very good video games of Star Wars, uh, and I guess also the Old Republic, which is an MMO. I don't know if it still runs, but, and I've never played it, so don't know about that, but, um, on the other side is Revan who also does his own side quest <laughs> to find the Mandalore, uh, which is the mask of the Mandalorian leader uh, that Revan took uh, during the Mandalorian Wars uh, and hid away to disorient the Mandalorians because they wouldn't have someone to follow into combat, so they would have a lot of infighting, and that helped in the war, which is really cool, right? A little more in-depth on that, on that war and what Revan did. Um, we also, unfortunately, get a lot more detail about how Revan fell <laughs> to the dark side. And this is my main problem with the book, is that, uh, you know, Revan is a video game character, but he has a lot of agency because you get to choose um, how you're going to act and respond to what's happening on the planets that you visit. Uh, and you can do things that um, are, you know, morally good or morally bad. Uh, and that will affect what happens in the story on that planet and in the future and how the characters that you are with respond to you. A and, you know, his backstory of uh, what Revan did before the first game, uh, how he was a powerful Jedi that fell, uh, that worked in the Mandalorian Wars and fell, to the dark side and, and all this stuff. And then, uh, you know, of course, had his memory wiped and uh, eventually fought his former apprentice, Darth Malak. Uh, all of that is really fun and engaging, especially because he has a ton of agency, thanks to you as the player. In this book, Ma uh, I swear, Revan has no agency at all. <laughs> and it's really irritating. Um, he's constantly in a, in a haze, similar to in the game, right? There's lots of these times where, like, little memories pop up or a lot of confusion. Same thing in the second one with Mitra, who's in this book. Um, the out Jedi outcast from Knights of the Old Republic 2. Um, and this book actually has a bit of a downer ending, which would be fine, except the lack of agency. Um... So, 
the problem is because he's always in a haze that kind of work that works in the game especially because you have lots of choices and you can you know further the characters uh, finding himself and that kind of thing and it feels really rewarding because you can make your own choices uh here it's i it's just not as well done or just that same feeling is trying to be captured but it just doesn't work in print i think um so he loses a bit of agency there he seems lost and just kind of going on side quests constantly uh, well scourge definitely does uh he may mostly just searches for the mandalore with candorous um who is a mandalorian that joined him um in the first game uh, another big issue is that we learn what really made him fall to the dark side, and it's that this emperor that is bringing about this future dark stormy path uh, that Revan keeps having dreams and nightmares about influenced him and Malik to join the dark side because of something they were doing uh, after or, or during the Mandalorian. Mandalorian Wars, which just, like, ruins it. <laughs> uh, just takes away his agency there. And then, of course, um, he's sort of easily defeated by the end of the book um, and entrapped uh, and weakened. And <laughs> Scourge is kind of the hero eventually because this dark stormy future never happens because Scourge finally has uh, a vision uh, that troubles him because of it is not guaranteed to happen and he's not really sure what it means and this kind of stuff uh, but it's really disappointing to see that Revan has virtually no agency uh, in this book uh, when he has all kinds of agency in the game uh, and is very interesting um, so yeah, that's my frustration. What I kind of wish uh, this book was, uh, one, Revan has more agency. Uh, but I also, you know, it's another like, save the Republic, save the galaxy, uh, extremely high stakes story. Both one and two are that, uh, Knights of the Old Republic, one and two are that way. And that's fine, could have been fine, but the lack of agency for Revan really disappoints. Um, but I think what would have been even more interesting for me personally, of course, Rabin is a powerful uh, force user. Uh, somehow the Emperor is even more powerful out of nowhere. <laughs> and Mitra. <Ugh. laughs> anyway, um, I think it would be even more interesting because if you know Revan's story um, from playing the games uh, and from uh, what could have been explored here. If you know Revan's story, he's a very sort of, com he's very complex. Let's just read uh, the back of it, right? Hero, traitor, conqueror, villain, savior. All of these things are true about Revan from his work as a Jedi to his fall to the dark side and what he did there uh, at that time. Uh, and then as a savior by the end of the story for Knights of the Old Republic, public one if you are a good <laughs> uh, a Jedi basically uh, light side aligned um, and you know and then also you get more about Revan and, and Mitra um, more Mitra really but uh, for Knights of the Old Republic too um, what I think could have been really interesting is sort of uh, keeping the stakes personal Having, having a story about Revan and what does he do with his life now? Where does he go? Uh, and then having some of the uh, consequences to his actions um, for past events um, could be the Mandalorians uh, finding the Mandalore and uniting to specifically target Revan. Uh, and then, yeah, then you could have your fighting, but you could also have this uh, dynamic of keeping the stakes personal uh, and having more of a character study, I think, of, of what does this person who has done so many horrible and great things 
uh, uh, do with themselves and where do they go from here and what what should happen with them and this kind of thing um, and if they had if Revan had to face uh, consequences for the things that he did uh, when he turned to the dark side uh, or from people that are not the Jedi um, uh, and maybe even you know things that he did uh, in Knights of the Old Republic 1. I think that would be so much more fun to read about and engaging, but then then maybe it just wouldn't be as exciting because it's not a galactic saving thing uh, story. So, but I think that would have been way cooler to read. Uh, and I think it would have fit Revan better because Revan's all about finding out who they are, right? Um, trying to remember. Uh, and now, you know, by the end, by this story, it could have been that Revan remembers and has to deal with that personally, emotionally, intellectually, and then face consequences from, you know, whatever, uh, if it hurt his past actions. <sighs> oh, well. It was fun to read till the second half. Um, that's just what I think would have been way more fun. What do you think? Have you read the book? <laughs> have you played the games? I, I'm sure you have if you're watching this. Um, anyway, eh, thank you.